The Phantom ecosystem is on the rise with tons of DeFi projects springing up every week. High time to understand how you can get started with Phantom and buy those low cap gems. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you exactly how you can get started with the Phantom ecosystem. I'll show you all the steps from start to finish. So even if you're a beginner, you'll be able to follow along. Speaking of gems, if you'd like to get early information about gems, IDOs, airdrop opportunities and much, much more, then the DeFi Academy is for you. And the best thing is we've got a Halloween special coming up this weekend that gets you a whopping 40% discount. If you'd like to learn more, then go down in the description and subscribe to my newsletter. The spots are limited and the special is only available for three days. All right, let's get started. All right, now there are two important things that you need to get started. One is a Binance account and the other one is a MetaMask wallet. If you don't have either of those, I have a tutorial about those both of those things linked in the description so go there first and install that first and then come back to this video all right once your metamask is installed we now need to install the phantom blockchain on metamask so the easiest way to do that is go to chainlist.org i'll leave that link in the description as well then type in phantom here and what we need is phantom opera not phantom testnet but we need phantom opera and then all you need to do is you need to click on connect wallet then you need to confirm that here and click on connect and now you see that is connected and now you can simply click add to metamask all right then approve that in metamask and then also click on switch network because it's always it always starts out on the ethereum mainnet so that's fine we'll click on switch network and now if we click on the metamask icon here you can see that we're now on phantom opera so if you click on the drop down you have ethereum then a bunch of other ones that are pre-installed and now we also got phantom opera all right, so we're done with the first step. Now what we need to do next is send some phantom over to your MetaMask wallet to then be able to use it in the ecosystem. So we'll do that from Binance. Again, I've got a tutorial about that if you're new to that. Then on Binance, what you need to do is you need to hover over wallet and then click on Fiat and Spot. All right, then we'll scroll down to your phantom and then you need to click on Withdraw. And now we need to send it to our MetaMask wallet. So we go back to MetaMask and then you need to copy that public address. Okay, that was copied. Then you need to paste that in here. And then you also need to choose the network. Now it will sometimes say congested, but you can ignore that. It should usually go through anyways. So make sure that it is Phantom. It won't work if you use another chain. So definitely make sure this is Phantom. So we'll click on that. Okay, and then you can choose how much you want to send over there. So for this example, I'll use the maximum amount of phantom that I have in here. Okay, once that's all good, you can click on withdraw. And then continue and confirm that. I'll quickly do my 2FA stuff and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that request is complete. That will, so it now tells me that it might take a bit longer. We'll see, normally it goes through pretty quickly, but it might be that the that is in fact congested right now. So we'll have to see. All right, now we're lucky it's about 30 seconds later and it has already arrived. So that's what I've usually experienced so far. It says that it might take long and that it's congested, but it actually works really fast. Okay, so we've got this phantom in here and now we're ready to use the ecosystem and to buy whatever coins you want. Now, all of those coins exist on DEXs, on decentralized exchanges. And the cool thing is that's all really easy to use because you can always connect to your MetaMask wallet. And then they will automatically have your phantom on there and then you can just swap to something else. So I'll show you how to dive into the ecosystem with Geist as an example. So that's a phantom project that I really like. I'll also make a special video about that coming up in the future. They can earn really high APY on there. So don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when that video comes out. All right. For right now, what we'll do is we go to CoinMarketCap and if you look for guys, so this is the one that I'll show you what to do with. And then you need to scroll down here. And the cool thing is that down here you see where you can buy it. So you can see that it is only available on SpookySwap. So that's one of the decentralized exchanges on Phantom. And now you also see the volume there. So I would definitely just choose the first one because the other ones don't have any volume. So you all, only, all you need to do is you need to click on that pair. Now you might have to connect your wallet first. So it might say connect your wallet then do that. But I am already connected. Now all I have to do is click on swap. And you can see here my phantom balance. So I have 9.98 phantom. And then you can simply choose Geist here. So you type that in. Perfect. Choose that. 
and then decide how much you want to swap what you need to keep in mind is that you need phantom to pay your fees so i don't recommend clicking max i've done this mistake a couple of times it's really annoying so better just type it in for instance uh for instance let's say we'll swap five phantom then we still have enough for the fees then down here you see the exchange rate you see the slippage the minimum yield receive price impact and fee the fee is pretty low right now so that's pretty nice okay once that's all good you can click on swap then that will automatically open metamask where you need to confirm that okay so transaction has been submitted we can close that window and you can see that already went through so that's really really fast you also see that the balance has already been updated so it has now deducted five uh, phantom and therefore i have received 10 geist by the way if you ever come across a really small coin that you don't find on this exchange so if you click here on this pair and then it, it gets you through it gets you to this exchange and it still doesn't show up so you can't for instance you can't look for geist what you can also do is you can go up here and then copy that contract address so you can copy that here and then you could also paste that in here so if you don't find it so let's say say if i type in guys it wouldn't show up you can just paste that in here and then it will also show up as well so yeah that's basically how to get started with phantom from start to finish how to buy phantom and then how to use it in the ecosystem as you can see it's pretty simple and straightforward the next step would be to actually use those ecosystem coins for instance to stake it and earn rewards so that's what you can do with Geist and you can earn a really high APY with that. So look out for the video that comes out in the next couple of days. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter because we've showed Geist much earlier in the Academy and that would allow you to earn super high rewards for about two weeks already before we share it on YouTube. So subscribe to my newsletter so you'll be notified when we open the Halloween special and you can snag one of those limited 20 spots. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!